warm welcome to the Future Forum by BMW Welt. I'm Verena and I will be moderating this talk for you. We are streaming live from BMW Welt. Thanks for joining us from wherever you are. The Future Forum by BMW Welt is a platform that connects visionaries and experts from various backgrounds to discuss the future. We'd like to spark an exciting discussion and promote an open dialogue between the experts and you. This week, we have three talks at the Future Forum that are not only a part of the Munich Creative Business Week, they also mark the 10-year anniversary of an exciting partnership between BMW and the MCBW. This week, we invite designers from BMW and Mini and the Japanese Art Collective Team Lab to join the conversation. They talk about how we can shape the future through design and arts and discuss the role of innovation and technology. We will explore how we can interact with people in environments and how technology is an enabler for new immersive experiences. During this talk, if we have any questions for our speakers, please write them down in the comment section below. My colleague Melanie will be gathering them and after the talk, we'll have an additional 10 minutes to discuss them. For today's Future Forum, we will tackle the question of how technology is influencing design and arts. Let's find out more and explore the intersection of design and art with immersive experiences in cars and spaces. I'm very delighted to introduce you to BMW's very own Head of Design, Domagoj Juketz. Hello, Domagoj. Hi, Verena. How are you? Thank you. I'm very well. How are you? And you might know our second speaker from our yesterday's talk. Please welcome Takashi Kudo of Team Lab, streaming live from Tokyo. Hello again, Takashi. Hello again. I'm so happy to Hello. see you again. Yes, it's been great yesterday, right? Let's continue our talk today. Yeah. First, for a start, we'd like to get to know the two of you a bit better. We each now have two minutes of fame um, where you can talk about you, what you've done, your achievements. Please be so kind. Please, Takashi, start for us today. Okay. Uh, it's first, maybe it's an, I should introduce ourselves at the uh, Team Labs is an art collective and it's an using of the digital and technologies and it's creating of its very weird output. And it's we are like 500 members of this specialist difference like uh, like Jan. It's like CG animator, architect, mathematicians and uh, like a hardware engineer, software engineers. And it's now our aims is uh, we are looking for the, some kind of new relationship between it's a human and world, including of these other peoples, and that uh, try to make it a new barriers for these uh, human beings. And that is, you know, like uh, what we are doing. And it's most of this now work is uh, we try to bring the people to be inside of our installation with physical bodies and try to be some kind of immersive experience. That is a uh, team lab. I think there seems to be some intersection with cars and experience inside. Please, Domagoy, would you be so kind and introduce yourself? Yes. Hi, my name is Domagoy Jukic. I mean, like you already mentioned, and I'm the head of BMW Design, a very exciting and highly emotional brand. Uh, we have a lot of fans all around the world. Therefore, also the topic design is uh, driving always uh, emotions very high, uh, either in the one way or the other. But um, let's say so far, um, design was always, let's say, seen just very superficially, like just on one base, because um, in the past we were just designing cars. And I would say in the future, we have to design uh, the experience of joy. And because uh, digitalization, and that's a very important topic today, uh, opens a whole new world uh, in the customer's journey and uh, with the intersection of artfulness and uh, this is something what is also uh, strongly uh, based in uh, BMW's heritage and therefore for us it's a very exciting era 
where we can uh, also lead BMW again, uh, very pioneering to be ahead, not just as a, a, a great uh, moving object, but also as a very intensive holistic experience for our customers. Mm, very interesting. So it's a holistic, immersive experience as well. I see there are some intersections with Team Labs Art. Maybe we can start with a little more basics. Um, Domagoy, for a start, what makes the BMW design stand out? Um, I think, um, as I already mentioned, BMW is a brand uh, with a very strong heritage and uh, Everybody in the world knows this brand. It stands for cars like uh, behind uh, me, uh, the E9 3.0 CSI. And so it was moving people always in a very um, dynamic uh, um, yeah, interaction with uh, car industry. And uh, I think, and this is also our goal, that BMW design should always be stunning and uh, make a difference. So let's say in a few words, it has to be wow on the first approach. Uh, but of course, this means very personal significance. And uh, then it has to make a difference. It has to uh, create an experience which is, which is worth sharing for our customers. And this ends then in, uh, I would say, eternal love, yeah? because we need, we want to uh, get customers in in touch with our brand uh, with a high loyalty and they should fall in love with our products and this goes over wow and meaningfulness mm, very precise thank you so much um, takashi um, how would you describe team labs digital artworks and installations since we don't have a, a clip today please maybe you can a little tell yeah. us what, what uh... you feel Exactly. Okay. So, like, uh, the best way is in a checking of this now our website. But uh, like most of our like an output or it's uh, installations, as uh, we're using of this uh, digital and technologies. But it's a uh, using further. It's in a, like a how to make it some kind of immersive experience, or it's a try to be one part of this in the artworks. And we are very much it's in a it's focusing of its like the physicals and how to bring the it's in a people's physical body to be inside of our imaginations or its creativities at uh, the big difference of its uh, digital technologies is one of that is uh, actually it's free from its uh, materials it's some part at least and it's uh, like it means like we can bring the people to be inside with its uh, like imaginations or its creativities before we had to use of its uh, materials but uh, our work it's a softwares even if not exists so it's a uh, we're using of its light as paint so we can bring the people to be inside with our space and then and uh, we believe it is we can make the people to be one part of it and uh artworks and it's a uh, what we think is uh as i said it's in our aims is now uh, try to make it a new value for the, it's a human beings but it's you know our value or its way of thinking is uh it's it's quite fixed and it's uh, most of the times it's just only the experience can change it and it's uh what we want to create is uh some kind of a new like a different experience and it's uh, try to explain something it's you know, we cannot explain by words like the Mogoi said it's like joy or it's uh, we try to create but it's like in you know, a beautiful or something like that kind of stuff is through the, it's an experience we can reach to the it's that dimensions that is you know uh, what we are creating mm, very interesting so joy is the common denominator for both of you. I have a question to both of you. A car design and art have the same aim, inside emotions and inspire. Um, how do you try to achieve that? Who either would like to go first? 
Okay, then um, yeah. I think at first um, a car, like I already said, is a tool to move just people in exclusive privacy from A to B. But as we have to sell our cars worldwide and uh, to different cultures uh, with very different values, uh, there's just one common sense, which is based in the human psychology. Uh, I think it's art, yeah? because art can and was already combining and bringing cultures together. And so there is a very strong connection. Design at first offering a perfect ergonomy and making life easier yeah, in every day's uh, life of everybody. But then the approach to luxury and to, to something which is standing out and makes also uh, this very high emotion affection to a product goes through artfulness. And digitalization is uh, somehow bringing digital world now with analog world together digital and physical world meets and and in digital experiences. Something what uh, Team Lab is doing, but we uh, now also can offer in our cars such digital experiences. And artfulness is um, something which is opening a completely new immersive experience to our customers. And uh, I think this uh, allows us to have a more individu individual um, experience for our customers because it. what is so important is that everybody in the world has a person, personal relevance to anything what happens because the experience is not happening in the object, it's happening in everybody's mind and everybody's heart. And so you have to offer something. There's not just one recipe. You have to be able to adjust on individual needs and digitalization and artificial intelligence is of course an enabler to offer with in one object the different experiences with personal significance that's a very interesting perspective and also approach go go to go through art takashi what would you think please yeah, exactly. It's in uh, what Magoi said. It's you know I completely agree with that. And it's uh, like the aims of it uh, to change that uh, people's like you know, value or its way of thinking. It's uh, this part is uh, it's changed by its uh, societies and it's you know how the place and it's you know the times and it's uh, and this part is like something it's it's quite hard to explain by word and it's for example like a joy it's you know like maybe it's a, even 100 years ago what was joy and it's like even 20 years ago what was joy and today it's completely changed from the you know our like lifestyles and it's now today's societies and it's now everything's and it's you know like joy or it's like some kind of like a beautiful that kind of part is that we cannot explain by words and there is no recipes and there is no right answers but it's still it's a, we have to keep on create some things on it that kind of the dimensions and it's uh, when we lead to the you know, people about that kind of dimensions is as domagoi said too it's a uh, just only experience and it's uh, the easiest way of it's like like in the bmws and it's you know like the joy of the bmw driving is maybe you're gonna say let's drive it and experience and after that you're gonna feel it and it's for us is also same and it's you know just visit our installation and exhibitions and it's maybe it's uh, some people don't like it and some people like it and it's uh, there is no right recipes, and it's uh, but still we believe it's you know like what we create that kind of output it can lead the people to the some kind of the positive futures, and it's gonna connect it to the it's you know next like joy or it's next beautiful. So it's a lot of feeling. 
Yeah, so it's a lot about feeling. You can't really tell in words, you have to experience. And uh, maybe our next question is going in that direction too. Um, I would like to know from both of you, uh, please talk about, let's talk about the impact of design and art in terms of, di of their psychological effect. Why is it so important to polarize, to provoke, and to fascinate at the same time? I think Tomagoy has a um, very uh, specific point of view on this. Would you like to start? Yes, of course. Um, already, uh, we were talking right now a little bit of psychology because the experience happens in the human mind. And uh, let's say an ultimate experience um, means to feel with all five senses. Yeah? And today, design is mainly judged by one human sense, which is visual. Yeah? But you have also feeling, hearing, taste. You have you have so many uh, and smell. And this, so if we talk about experience of joy, it means that we have to reach all human senses. And uh, therefore, the psychology um, is here now even important than in the past. And there's one recipe because people are so diverse. Everybody is driven by its own education, by its genetic. And um, so in the past, maybe it was enough to just trigger people with a certain shape and uh, with a certain brand image. But today, people are through digitalization saturated with a completely wider uh, offer, which is highly individual. Yeah, which you, and so so people are, are spoiled, let's say, because they 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 can see that if they use a mobile phone, it feels everything so easy. Nobody would to to be behave we did thirty years ago. And this is something you have to also offer then in each product. But and then why is it then so important? I mean, polarizing or fascinating. There is not one emotion. There are many emotions and there's not just good emotion. It doesn't matter. Emotion is an emotion. And so any emotion you provoke at a human being brings certain relevance in terms of perception for a product. And this is what is important because if you want to stage a product which has to stand out, you have to make it emotionally relevant for people. And then it doesn't matter. Somebody will say, well, I don't like it. I hate it. It's an emotion, but it will already trigger a certain discussion to, to deal with this object, which is already also very welcome. Yeah, Because even, of course, we would like that everybody loves our products, but this is irrealistic because you can't create anything in the world where you will say 8 billion people will have the same opinion about something. So it's normal that somebody hates and I'm not worried because it's as it's not possible that everybody loves your product, it's also not possible that everybody hates your product. Yeah? And so we have to move people uh, in their emotions. We have to make everybody feel alive that uh, emotion is welcome. So you have to reach the core or you have to touch the heart as uh, Takeshi yesterday said. Yeah, Very exactly. interesting. Ta Ta Takashi, what would you say about this from a Japanese perspective? Oh, it uh, actually, and I forgot I, what I talked yesterday, but uh, actually, it's, it's not to <laughs> explain it as uh, um, like what we have interest is, you know, like how to recognize the world. And it's uh, or it's how to understand the world. What is a word for it's uh, humans, and it's uh, anything. It's you know, what is my son to me? It's the same things. And it's uh, sometimes it's uh, human beings is uh, when we try to understand something, we try to science, and it's uh, the science. It means sometimes divided to the it's you know the object. For example. Like it's an you know, if you want to understand that it's in a forest, you're gonna divide it to the it's like a trees. 
It's a, if you want to understand what it's a tree, the tree is a lot of the cells. And it's a cells, it's, it's become like, you know, become atoms and it's, it's become like more high resolution and the more high resolutions. But it seems like it's very much, it's, you know, like far away from the, you know, the first purpose, how to understand the little forest. And it's you know, how to understand the forest is what we think is going you know, try to be one of that. And it's a uh, try to be, uh, yeah, one part of it, you know, like forest or it's a one part of it, you know, we are, it's one part of this, this world. And that after that, it's you know, we can understand of the, you know, the forest. And it's, it is very um, weird word, but it's uh, in Zen Buddhism, it's, there is one word, it's called a funis. It means it's not two. It means, you know, just only one. Or it's, uh, if I said by English, maybe non-dualisms or something, it is not like uh, justice and, and not justice. It's not like a two part, but it's everything is only one. And it's, as Domagoy said, it's, you know, like today's world, it's become it's so complicated. There is no answer. And everybody has its opinions. And it's, you know, sometimes the situations, it's, it's super complicated from this logically or it's emotionally, it's, you know, it's sometimes very hard to accept. It's, but it's still, it's we human beings need to, to survive or it's live. And it's, it's never, we shouldn't give up some things. Our territories, it's, for example, like for us, it's we never give up to create some artwork. And I think it's in BMW also, it's never give up to create of the you know, joy by car and it's, you know. That is a very long philosophical answer. Very interesting. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's, it is really very interesting also. Um, Domagoy, can you please tell us a bit more about your inspiration? What moves you? Um, yeah, I would say um, I, I I like uh, the life itself. Yeah, I mean, it's not that I need inspiration from certain magazines or uh, you know design literature. So I'm I'm actually I would say uh, I I like to understand human beings and. Uh, I use my talent um, to have the sensitivity to understand customers' needs, but of course, from different perspectives. And uh, so what is very difficult in design is um, that you don't um, put your own subjective opinion about the customer's opinion. Yeah, because of course, if I would be a star and everybody would like just to drive what I designed, but that's not the case. It's more that if you want really a personal re relevance for customers, it's important that you really understand what psychologically happens in human beings. And therefore the inspiration is every time a new task to reach certain customers. You can't really prepare inspiration and say, okay, I, uh, go somewhere. The only the only thing you need is to be really open minded, yeah? and for this, uh, it's good, of course, if you if you can rest uh, uh, very stable in your in your in yourself uh, to be open for any direction. Because I don't think there is right or wrong, pretty or ugly. It's always just from a very personal and individual perspective and to be able to offer them something which is maybe from your point of view you wouldn't buy it but this is not uh, the point therefore for this to be able to do this you you have to be actually also yourself um, somehow quite well settled and uh, this is what i try to achieve high inspiration for uh, my daily work Mm. So you have to step back and design an everyday for everyday use, so to speak. 
I mean, is there, do, do you, Takashi, do you see an intersection for you? How do you get your inspiration or where do you get it from? Okay, uh, I try to answer short these times. It's um, like the short answer is to try to listen it now, my, our hearts. It's uh, sometimes inspiration is you know, we got from its uh, natures and friends and it's a member of this fellow of this uh, team labs and uh, listen of this uh, legend of this uh, today and the legend of its uh, ancient peoples and it's you know whole the things something touch my touch our hearts that give us inspirations and that's uh, like exactly like this moment it's you know like now I also it's try to understand of this what Magoi said it, and uh, I really have interest and it's my heart was it's you know, like very excited to understand them things and it's his joy it's you know, like if understand it's definitely I'm gonna get inspiration for this um, next creativities so I'm very mm. appreciative of this and this moment. <laughs> Ah, Takashi, do you have a question for Domagoy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have, of course, it's, I have a question like it's in a hundred, but it's, you know, like we need a ton of the beers for the, <laughs> but uh, like sometimes when we create using of the digital technologies, it's, uh, like digital it's you know like one perspective is sometimes we like expand with its humanities like a smartphones or it's on a pcs or it's uh like any internet service try to expand this on our brains or it's eyes or something like that but it's uh we try to create a little uh expand with this physical world like uh it's a tree is beautiful, but if we use all the digital technologies, maybe we can make more beautiful trees. That is, you know, like now our approach to use all the our digital technologies. And now it's a question, question is, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. The question is, you know, for the Dumagoy, it's uh, when you create all the or design of the you know, the car. For you, the car is like, like, like expand with it to yourself or expand with it to these these societies to be on a car. That was it's very weird question, but it's you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I tried to now figure out what was the question, but. Uh... I think uh, yeah, when we create a car, I mean, when, when you talk about the experience, uh, of course, a car has to uh, celebrate life yeah, for each customer. So it's an it's a opportunity because cars, you could think that they will lose relevance in the future, but cars are one so important object for human society because it's self-determination. It's it's to decide yourself where to go and how to go, you know, because if you go with a train or public transport, you're always in a certain, uh, it, it doesn't feel human because humans are individuals who want to have their own control about their lives and therefore a car and uh, auto is a Greek word for self-determination uh, actually, yeah? which means then, uh, and therefore, I think a car is very important and can um, expand and embrace uh, uh, really human society. Yeah? And now the only thing what we have to figure out is it has to be sustainable. Yeah? The best thing would be if it's secular and uh, you don't waste anything. And then what you were saying that augmented reality, let's say today a car is a real moving object. But with digitalization, you can actually create hyper real experiences yeah? because you can you can with augmented reality, you can make reality even more real. Or if you see what happens in uh, the industry and in fashion industry are everywhere, 
the virtual world is not real. So you can also use art and creation to go beyond uh, gravity or laws. And so this opens a completely new field for, cre uh, field for creativity. And of course, BMW with our sub brands, I and M, of course, is, is uh, a great territory where you can really play in different uh, perceptions of a real. Yeah. And uh, I think this is on one hand, it's very relevant for society, but on the other hand, just for every singular customer. And I think there is a very, um, I, I can also tell you that uh, Team Lab is also a big inspiration for us yeah, because uh, I use often examples of uh, Team Lab or pictures in the presentation when I have to uh, explain, let's say, our internal engineers or the board members what means uh, a digital immersive experience. Yeah? And uh, what you are offering is of course, the starting point of a completely new uh, product experience in the future. Wow, that's great that you're both inspiring each other. <laughs> I think it would be uh, time to open up the discussion to the audience. Um, my colleague okay. Melanie has been getting questions. Um, Melanie, can you tell us a bit more? There must be something interesting. Ah, we can't hear you yet, but soon. Hi, yes. can you hear me now? Hello. Okay. Yes. Thank you. you Hello. Hello. Thank you so much, uh, Domagoy and Takashi, for being here. Um, we have many questions. Um, one of the questions has been already answered. Um, what do car design and team-like activities have in common? I suppose that is um, just being answered or was answered before, that you inspire each other. The next question is, um, to Takashi, what was Team Lab's highlight project so far? Uh, it's a uh, it's the latest one is a uh, highlight as always so like mm -hmm. uh, now it's uh, it's it's not advertisement sorry but it's you know like we're now it's working for it uh, even making spa inside the middle of this uh, tokyo's and uh, we try to bring the people to be in saunas and it's an uh, after sauners like it's a super nice feelings and it's a uh, luxury feelings and then it's gonna try to see the artworks and it's it's called a TikTok it team labs reconnect and it's what we have interest it's a reconnect the uh, people to the world again that was it's a uh, our concept and it's a uh, we are making exhibition in Miami it's called a super Bruce with other their artists James Tarot and the S Dublin so it's mm -hmm. Uh, the best way is uh, just check our website. It's, uh, you can find our latest one, and it's the latest one is our highlight. Of course. Well, <laughs> Thank you. Um, we will do, of course, check your website for more information. Um, the next question is to both. It's kind of like more personal. Are there still professional goals that you want to achieve or projects that are close to your heart? Maybe Domago, you want to start? Yes, uh, I'm not sure if I will realize them, but um, I think uh, if I will, would leave one day BMW, I would definitely not stay in the car industry and I would rather like to open, uh, I don't know, a restaurant or, uh, but oh. even more interesting, but even more interesting, I mean, I, I have no experience about this, but I would like to, um, be in charge of a, of a, I don't know, a national uh, park or so, which is under protection to deal really with something which is uh, highly relevant and which is very much rooted to what everything is about. Uh, it's about life. Yeah? I mean, I started as a kid uh, dreaming about cars, but as you can see also, uh, the world is moving so fast and uh, you're getting also more mature about certain stuff and i think i would like also to deal with something which is maybe completely uh not related to any consumption yeah. 
Very interesting. Very interesting. I love that answer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Takashi, think I don't do think, I don't think that I don't think that my 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 uh, chiefs would uh, love this answer. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we do, we do. Um, Takashi, do you want to continue? Oh yeah, at uh, from Team Labs, it's in a we are like five hundred members, so it's a uh, it's quite hard to say. It's an. Uh, one answer, but it's a, me personally, it's uh, what I feel it's like this kind of moment, it's, you know, like for me, it's more like reach when I could feel it, uh, our output could reach to the, it's some people, and especially it's someone who I like, or it's I respect. So like now I'm, I'm feeling like in the heavens, like uh, through the, it's, conversation with the Magai and the channel like this like some people is asking us of the channel like people had interest with me or it's interested with us it's like uh, we I don't know it's especially it's I feel it's very easy to feel isolated and especially it's at uh, this like in a pandemic moment and it's uh, we quite easily to feel it in you know, isolated but it's a uh, we at least me, I think uh, I want to connect with people, and it's uh, I don't want to give up to reach to the people's heart, and uh, that is you know some things. And it's me super personally is my sons, like six years, and it's uh, one years old. When they said, like I love it inside of this, uh, our exhibitions, it makes me so happy. So beautiful. I can only imagine how um, rewarding that must be if the family says something is beautiful that you have created. Um, I have, I can only uh, ask one more question. And I think this one is um, for Domagoy. Um, a fidgetal feature in one of the BMW cars? Um, in the upcoming uh, BMW iX, um, which is offering, of course, an SAV experience in a, a more sustainable way. Uh, of course, it's fully electric, but also in the interior, uh, in the center console there, uh, the interaction between uh, man machine the relationship between man and machine happens on a on a certified wood area and so what we tried is to to interact with the car in a in a not uh, common way where you put switches uh, where you create switches the only function is to to press the button so we created more like a smart material uh, area where you have interaction with a car, but over a material which is very um, pure and natural. So it's actually a, a contradiction. It's something where you connect analog and the, the, the value of uh, physical real reality and uh, digital interaction. And uh, so we don't have any decor in the car which has not a function. So we use the decor, which is for human beings an expression of artfulness. Yeah, everybody, nobody is living in an uh, empty room. Everybody wants to feel warmth. And this is what we create. But we don't create objects in the car in the future which have not uh, also a, a, a meaning and a, a functional use. And with this one, we think it's uh, more meaningful uh, and uh, this is something which is for us also a digital experience. Mm -hmm. ah, Very interesting. interesting. That's like form follows function applied, so to speak. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that I was uh, my. Yeah. Sorry. No. You go. Because you go. Follows, yeah. The form follows function is one aspect in design which you can apply. But here I would say form follows experience. 
uh, because uh, the function itself is on a user experience the lowest level yeah so mm -hmm. there is there's a user experience uh, pyramid from anderson where you come about functionality uh, usability uh, uh, how reliable it is but then on the peak where really it becomes for people relevant it's pleasurable and meaningful and so if you want to really uh, get into the hearts of customers you have to concentrate on the top of this pyramid and uh, therefore its uh, form follows experience because and so we will design it to be really uh, on the i want customers and not on the i need customers uh, level mm, very inspiring I think, Melanie, we're, our time is up. We're done. Yeah, our time is up. Uh, we're we're uh, passed over oh, the time, but it was so interesting. <laughs> so so um, thank you so much. I need it. It's a one more hour. <laughs> yes, yeah. this has been so inspiring with both of you. Thank you, Doma Goy. Thank you, Takashi, for having us. Thank you very much. You. And uh, wow, I, I will. Um, I think I, there are so many. You touched so many different aspects and points. I think I will watch this talk again when it's on YouTube, definitely, to kind of get to know more into it. And thank you also to our viewers. Um, if you know, if you uh, want to know more, please subscribe to our newsletter for upcoming events. And we uh, have tomorrow our third talk of this week on Thursday at 7.30 p.m. CT with the head of mini design, Oliver Heilmer. And he will tell you all about the new Urban Out. It's an exciting vision car with a very uh, interesting uh, concept of space. So uh, tune in tomorrow and see you soon. And thanks so much for being us, with us today.